pardon my voice on this. I've had a cold for the past four days. <laughs> but I thought I'd install this table from Bro Attic today. I've been looking for a nice table that had the molly panels. And um, this one seemed to fit the bill as far as sturdiness and uh, cost. It was uh, somewhere in the middle of what the other ones cost. Uh, here you have the instruction sheet. And uh, it's pretty well laid out. I uh, don't think it's going to be too hard to install. Uh, shouldn't be too many steps. Uh, you have some included weather gaskets to prevent rattles uh, or paint marring. Uh, small hardware a kit that has all the T-bolts, washers and nuts. Uh, I spotted these two little wrenches. They give you, I guess, to uh, so that you don't have any other tools required to install it. Here let's take a closer look at the instructions and what's included with the hardware pack that comes with the table. The instructions show seven steps starting with the plastic trim piece removal at the top of the tailgate and then where to place the T-bolts into the existing holes of the tailgate. They do not show where to install these two foam gaskets that prevent damage to the pane or any squeaks in that area, but I'll show how I determine where to put those later. The hardware pack consists of four T-bolts, a lock nut that spaces out the top of the table so that it remains plumb with the tailgate, and the required washers and final lock nuts. Similarly, the two larger T-bolts and corresponding washers and nuts are for the bottom mounting points. They also include two small wrenches so that no other tools are needed for installing this table. I do suggest using a ratchet though, make it a lot quicker. Here I've also laid out the pieces in order of how they will be placed on the T-bolts. After the T-bolt is placed into the slot, you will place a washer onto the threaded stud and then the lock nut spacer will tighten the T-bolt into place. Next place a second washer that the table will rest against, followed by the final washer and locking nut after the table is set into place over the studs. You want the table to be resting against a washer and then a washer and lock nut to tighten it down. The table seems quite well packaged. I didn't see any dents or uh, damage to the box when it arrived. It arrived in about three days, so it's pretty quick from Amazon. Uh, the website listed at 22.8 pounds, and it seems every bit of it. I don't have a scale, so we'll just go with that. Uh, one thing I noticed when I was messing with the box or unwrapping it here is I heard absolutely no rattles, so that's a good sign. Uh, if it don't rattle now while I'm handling it, it shouldn't rattle while it's on the vehicle. I like the molly panels and the two swing outdoors that also have the molly panels on the front. And uh, so let's get started. The first step shows removing the plastic trim panel at the top of the tailgate. All this does is hide the wiring for the uh, third brake light and rear camera. If you don't have a set of these nylon plastic trim removal tools, um, you can pick up a set, probably 10 or 12 pieces off Amazon for 10 bucks. Uh, they come in handy in a lot of instances, especially if you're messing with parts on the dash and you don't want to scratch your dash. These things are, are real good for that. The second and third steps of the instructions show uh, placing the T-bolts into the slots and they actually highlight the areas on the tailgate where the T-bolts go. Uh, and I ended up putting them in exact locations that they show. However, measure twice, cut once rule. I want to make sure, so I do measurements myself here. I want to see if the whole spacing matches up to where the T-boat should go. And also the uh, weather stripping. If you've ever put on weather stripping before, uh, that's supposed to prevent damage to your paint, whether it be something like this or a hood deflector. Anytime someone gives you something to protect the paint, place that on the paint, not the part. Reason being, if you place it on the part, vibration and everything, you're still rubbing against the paint, you will mar the paint. If you place it on the paint, then you're, uh, if you ever wanna remove it, you just peel it off and the glue is easy to remove with some cleaners and you don't have any damage to your paint that way. 20 years of auto accessory experience have taught me that.
here along with uh, the measurements I did, um, I want to visually look at the holes and see that they um, match up to where the studs are shown to be uh, mounted to the tailgate. And then back to the measure twice, cut once rule. Uh, I want to see it with my own eyes that they actually match up. After visually looking at where the table and the tailgate are most likely to touch and uh, produce squeaks or rattles and paint damage, I'm going to place the um, first piece of weather stripping at the bottom over the T-bolts themselves um, where they actually go. Uh, this appears to be where they had in mind even though they don't show it in the instructions because the weather strip gasket already has two pre-punched holes in those exact locations. So we'll put that piece right here and uh, we'll just leave that where it's at. The top piece seems to be a duplicate of the bottom piece. It has the two holes pre-punched in it, but there are four holes at the top, and looking at it, it actually needs to go above where the uh, T-bolts mount onto the raised area of the tailgate. Uh, so I'm going to place it right above the uh, T-bolt slots there, and uh, that should prevent any rattles or paint damage. Here we'll start installing the T-bolts into the slots of the tailgate. Uh, the two larger the T-bolts go at the bottom two slots, corresponding with the holes in the gasket, of course. They will go to the inside of the tailgate holes. Um, place the T-bolt in the slot, turn it 90 degrees so that it can't come back out. Place a washer over the stud, and then the lock nut tightens the T-bolt down. You will do the same to the four T-bolt slots at the top. The um, locations I'll point out in just a second. Here I'm tightening the T-bolt lock nut down so that the T-bolt can't move. I'm using the included small wrenches to show that you don't have to have any other tools. You want to uh, snug them up but not over torque them. And do this to all four at the top and two at the bottom. And then we'll place a uh, washer over the stud before we put the table into place. Here I also show the locations again. The bottom two are toward the inside of the slots, inside of the tailgate that is. The top outer two are pushed inward and the two middle ones are pushed outward toward the slots. Final assembly will um, be placing the table over the studs. Uh, it will actually hang there perfectly fine but uh, just Put your hand pressure against it until you at least get one nut and washer on it to hold it in place. And then torque the nuts down. Use your own judgment here. They don't have a uh, 
torque specifications. Um, there again, I just snugged them up very well. And here you have it, you're finished. After tightening the four nuts at the top and the two at the bottom, here you'll see the bottom shelf has a slot on each side that the uh, side panels lock into. And when unfolded, you can put as much weight as you would ever want to put on a, the rear tailgate itself. I wouldn't sit on it, but uh, cookers and using it as a workbench for tools and everything, um, it's quite sturdy. Uh, you'll notice here that there's little rubber pads on the back and the front side of these doors that prevent rattles when you um, fold it up and latch it into place. And I have went down bumpy roads, uh, 40, 50 mile an hour and around town, and I've yet to hear a rattle out of it. Uh, it seems very well secured. Uh, I thought I might have to go to Home Depot and get some felt washers or something and put on it, and that's an option if you ever run across one that does rattle but mine certainly has no rattles and i'm quite satisfied with it i've got a few other of the bro attic items such as the wall hanger for the doors when i remove them and i've put the grill lights in uh i'll put a picture of them at the end of the video you can all find them all on the bro attic store at amazon and i've been happy with everything i've received from them uh i think i'll enjoy this table and put it to good use yeah, the Molly panels, I really like how they look, and you can mount things to it, like the fire extinguisher I have here, or your kitchen utensils and such. But, hope you enjoyed the video.